Okay, hello everybody! Hello, hello! And welcome, how's everyone doing today? It is Thursday, September 28th, 2017, I am Darkside Phil. Welcome to my first of two gameplay streams for today, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> How are you? Uh. Oh, excuse me! <laughs> wow, what a way to start the free stream. I'm drinking a Mountain Dew Kickstart for a change today. You know, a lot of the times I'm drinking those VA Energy drinks. I decided to start alternating between those and the Back to the Mountain Dew Kickstarts, only because it's good for variety's sake, instead of drinking the same exact thing every day. <laughs> and honestly, today I'm a lot more thirsty. It's very hot here in Washington today. Uh, it's a rarity for this day in September to be this hot. In fact, they're thinking that we may hit the new record for the hottest day ever on this date in Washington State. But it's an oddity. It's, it's hilarious. Today, it's like 85 degrees with beating sun, like real hot. Tomorrow, it's going to be in the 50s. We're literally going to drop about 20 to 25 degrees in one day, which is pretty crazy. And then it looks like for the rest of the fall, it's going to be cool. Like, it's going to be in that temperature rainy for, like, the rest of the fall. <laughs> so this is the last big hot day. I guess summer didn't want to go. Um, <clears throat> so I'm really thirsty because it's hot. So I got a big... I figured, you know, the Mountain Dew Kickstart is, like, twice as much liquid as the uh, the V8 energy drink. So I said, I'll drink this today. Um, so how's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing good. Um... It's going to be a great day. Number one, we got double streams today. Always good to have a double stream day. Number two, it's going to be a fun day because of what I'm streaming. Number one is going to be Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite open lobby against viewers. I'm going to invite anyone who's watching to come on in and challenge me. And of course challenge each other too because the lobby system I believe is what, up to eight people? <laughs> that can all challenge each other and fight each other. So that should be pretty fun. Um, and in addition, uh, later today, it's going to be the conclusion of Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, a game that I've been playing since late August, since it released, uh, on and off, you know, the game's been so long that I certainly didn't want to just play exclusively for weeks and weeks and weeks, uh, but it's been a really fun playthrough, and I really enjoyed that game, <clears throat> and it looks like finally tonight, all we've got is the final boss, and then probably post-game, meaning getting the ability to break those anthill-like things for puzzles, so I'll probably do a little bit of recapping and see if I can find World 4S, which is this hidden world for every, you know, world, there's been hidden stages, and now we all have completed every combat stage in the game. Outside of the challenge stage. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. And uh, I'm excited. Fun day of gameplay for everybody, right? So, welcome everyone to my first of the two streams today. Um, <clears throat> FYI, real quick, just to give you an idea of what to expect the next few days. Tomorrow's a new game, folks. Tomorrow we're starting up Cuphead on the Xbox One. A shoot -em up with elements of platforming as well as uh, 1940s style cartoon visuals. A game that's been in development for many, many years and is finally releasing on the Xbox One and PC tomorrow. I'll be playing that as my gameplay stream tomorrow. Saturday will also be Cuphead with more MVC Infinite. It'll be a, a mini ranked set of MVC Infinite on Saturday. And FYI, folks, starting on Saturday, all of my streams for the next several days will be longer, meaning my stream will start an hour earlier for Cuphead than usual. Um, and my MVC Infinite stream may run longer. Reason being, I'm trying to get extra videos recorded so that when I go on time off next week, I have videos to upload to YouTube. Not that the YouTube channel is completely dead and then people stop going there. I want people going there on a daily basis. I want the momentum to keep going. So I have to upload every single day, okay? <clears throat> and then Sunday will be the return, ladies and gentlemen, of Ultra Street Fighter 2 on a Salty Sunday stream. Yes, it is true. It's going to be a full-on Ultra Street Fighter 2 stream this Sunday. Um, that way I'll have some good amount of Ultra Street Fighter 2 videos saved up to upload over the course of the week as well. And then Monday will probably be more Cuphead, maybe the conclusion of Cuphead. Um, along with, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what, what happens because Monday I may be playing Spyro. We'll see if I start Spyro on Monday or not. We'll have to find out. Okay. Fair enough. And then Tuesday will be the final stream before time off. And then starting on Wednesday the 4th, no streaming for four days. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, next week, no streaming, but I'll be back on Sunday. But like I said, there will be videos uploaded every single day to YouTube, even though I won't be live streaming, but I'll be back in full force um, on the 8th, I'll be doing a later stream, and the 9th, I'll be doing double streams, and of course, the 10th of October is Middle Earth Shadow of War, the new release, and then new releases all month. Okay? <clears throat> Sound good? Alright, so that's the rough schedule for all of you. Now, I have good news today, ladies and gents. Is everyone ready for good news? No? You'd like bad news instead? Would you like bad news instead? I'm trying to see what people in the stream chat say. <clears throat> They call me Jim Bob's a good news, everyone. The quote from Futurama, Dr. Farnsworth. <laughs> um, all right, so let's let's talk good news. We've got two pieces of good news. The first piece of good news you've already heard, but I have an update. It's regarding Patreon. It's regarding this month's goal, which is if, if we hit the funding goal for the month of September, 
I'll be doing a Halloween Horror Games Marathon, which the patrons will be nominating and voting on those games. And then I'll also be wearing a costume during that marathon, and the patrons will be voting on the kind of costume that I wear, okay? <laughs> so the good news is, we've soft hit the goal. Meaning that, yes, technically, right now, as long as everything goes according to plan and nothing changes, I'm going to hit the funding goal and we're doing the Halloween Marathon. The only way that it could go awry is if a ton of people who have standing pledges now, which will be charged and processed on the 1st of October, for some reason they withdraw their pledges last minute, or they all get declined, all right? Now, typically, <clears throat> in a normal month, I see about $50 to $100 get declined. That's not an exaggeration, it varies every month, but typically that's what I see, about $50 to 100 bucks. If that's the case, then we should still be good. But if we see an exorbitant amount of people all of a sudden getting declined or whatever, then we're going to be in jeopardy. Um, the good news is someone else did another pledge yesterday to try to help out. And we have two and a half days left in the month of September. So, folks, if you want to 100% lock in and solidify this Halloween event, if you pledge $5 or more in the next two and a half days to my Patreon, you'll be nominating and voting on games and voting on the costume. All right? So, please consider doing so. Patreon.com forward slash DarkSideFill. <clears throat> I'm very excited. Um, I want to do this event. I love doing a Halloween event. I love Halloween in general. It's a really exciting time of the year for me. I love these holidays of the fall. They've always been, personally, some of my favorite uh, things of the year. I love this time of year. So, let's see how it goes. Hopefully we hit it. Right now, it looks like we are going to hit it. Everyone, fingers, toes crossed, knock on wood. I'm not going to go into super detail about Patreon at this point. You guys know that it helps support me uh, on a monthly basis with all kinds of things, the cost of doing all of this and everything. Um, so, thank you for everyone who does support me on Patreon. I appreciate it. Okay? Fair enough? But... So, that's good news number one. Good news number two is something completely different. It's completely different, folks. So you may say, what is it? To which I respond, there's a bug in the corner of my office again. I'm not even kidding. There's a fucking bug in here. God damn it. <laughs> what is it? Hold on. Is it a spider? It looks like a spider. It's a spider. Actually, no. What the fuck is it? I don't even know what this fucking thing is. Some kind of a weird bug. All right, well, I'll finish. I'll finish pre-stream and then I'll kill this goddamn bug. Bugs keep sneaking into my office because my, the, I, uh, I have my window open now, um, because you know the summer's over. I don't have the air conditioner in the window anymore, and sadly, the, the, uh, what do you call it? The screen in the window is damaged because the idiots who owned this house before me apparently had one of these indoor air conditioners like I do, but it was before the era of the air conditioner didn't need a, a tube. What happened is these indoor air conditioners used to need a tube that would go out the window and it would drain the water that would accumulate inside the air conditioner. It would go out the window. But then they made new ones. This is like the one I have now for two and a half years is a new design where they don't have those tubes anymore. It literally will just evaporate by itself. It doesn't fill up with water. So these idiots who lived here before me, instead of figuring a way out to drain it, they literally punched a fucking hole in the screen and put the tube out of it. That's how stupid and idiotic the previous owners of this house were. Um, so I have a hole in my screen. And what I think I should probably end up doing, I'm going to end up having to tape it. Because bugs keep sneaking in. There was a beetle the other day. Now I got to fucking, I don't even know what this thing is in the corner. <laughs> Some weird bug. I'm going to have to go fucking spray the fucker. And of course, it's over my desk. So I'll be working there later. If I forget, it'll drop around my fucking face. Stupid bugs. All right. So anyway. Anyway, folks. Let's go ahead and go back to the good news. <laughs> um, the good news. Second piece of good news. I can't give you full details yet. I'm actually not allowed to. All right. But, what I can tell you is this. Well, let me, let me give you some background. If you guys aren't aware, <clears throat> Twitch TV has been working with extensions. If you don't know what these are, these are code that are implemented into live streaming on Twitch that makes streams more interactive. For example, right now, I have an extension that tracks people's cheers. And if you look directly below my stream, there's a new section on my channel dashboard that tracks everyone's cheer level. So you can actually see, oh wow, this person cheered this much. This is the person who's the cheerleader um, for, the, for this particular stream, for this... Uh, you know, month or whatever, right? So that's pretty cool. These extensions are pretty... Now, now, I've actually used some other extensions. For example, when I was playing Destiny 2, I used an extension that was a loadout extension, meaning you were able to click on my stream, and at any time you could actually see what the loadout and what level I was and what equipment I had on my, on my character, okay? That's pretty neat, all right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, in October, I can't give you details yet. I can't tell you exactly what it's going to be. What I can tell you is this. I am going to be participating in a special event with Twitch where we are going to be utilizing extensions on one of my streams. It's going to be a special event to basically show off what extensions can do, okay? Uh, I was selected by Twitch to work on this. I'm not... The details aren't worked out yet, and that's why I can't give you further details, okay? But basically, Twitch likes my streams, 
Apparently, there's a partner manager who watches my stuff and likes my stuff, and he's like, oh, Phil would be a good fit for this, I think. Um, and so that's going to be in October. I'll give you more information about when in October this is going to take place, this special event. But basically, you guys, all right, you guys are going to be checking out something exclusive. It's pretty cool, huh? You guys, my stream viewers exclusively, you're going to be able to try something out with extensions that potentially is going to directly affect a game. Let's put it that way. How does that sound? <clears throat> what do you guys think? Imagine that. So you're going to be able to interact with an extension, and it's going to actually directly affect things that happen on the stream. That's pretty cool, right? Personally, I'm actually interested to see how this works. I am. I want to see how it works. Because <laughs> think how cool that would be. There could be games that get designed now right? With extensions in mind for Twitch streamers where there's direct interaction. It's meant to be a game where you need your viewing audience to participate and stuff. That could be really sweet. <clears throat> so I'm going to have more details on that. And by the way, moderators. I see that Bida is here. Um, I haven't been keeping an eye, eye too closely on the stream chat, but I have to speak with the moderators uh, a little bit ahead of time before the event happens. Um... Because I want everyone to know what's going on with everything. Because people might come in and be like, what's this, you know? And then the mods can explain, oh, it's this event, and this is how you do it, and this and that. Rather than everyone just not having no idea what the hell's going on. Okay? I want to avoid that. So, yeah, I'll have more details soon. Um, it, it might take a couple weeks, honestly, for me to get um, the details hashed out. For exactly what you can expect and how it's going to work. Alright? So please be patient. I'm going to be alluding to this every once in a while in the next couple of weeks. So that you guys know exactly what's going on. Alright, but it's good news. It's cool. I can't wait to see how this works. Um, you know, people being able to interact directly with a stream and actually affect the, the gameplay on a stream and with an extension. Think how cool that is. I'm going to watch Phil play today. And, oh, he's playing this game. And you, start, you can start clicking on the screen and stuff happens directly as a result of what you're doing. That's pretty cool. You know, like I said, I, I, I see massive potential with extensions. I do. I see massive potential coming up. Um, with games such as, like I said, Call of Duty or other fighting games. Imagine if it could track your stats, wins, losses. It could show you, you know, how, how you performed with each character, you know, stuff like that. Um, role-playing games. Imagine in role-playing games, if not only does it show your, your characters, your loadout, but if people are participating on a stream, maybe it helps you out in the role-playing game, right? Maybe you get some unique loot drops or something. Dude, it could be pretty sweet. <clears throat> I think, you know, there's so much potential. With extensions, I really hope that some game developers decide to start working with companies and design extensions around their games, because that could be amazing. Imagine the interactivity and the cool stuff in the future that could happen with these. So anyway, that's coming up. I will have more information as we get closer. That's still a ways away. I'm going to say roughly it's about a month away, okay? Maybe a little less. I'll let you know. Uh, I need more specifics, and like I said, I'm not even, I'm not even allowed to talk uh, specifics about like, you know, the game and stuff like that yet. Yeah, I can't. I have to actually, from what I'm to understand, I need to have a contract in place to give you specifics. But I could allude to, there's a big event with extensions coming up. That's all I can say. Okay? <laughs> Sound good? Alright. Now, some people were like, I thought Phil was going to talk about his behind-the-scenes problems, and that's what the, the news was going to be. Well, it's not. Alright? The bottom line is, I have no update whatsoever for anybody yet. When I have an update on stuff going on behind the scenes, I'll let you know. Like I said, everything right now is pretty uncertain. Um, and we'll go from there. Alright? You know? I know people are dying for updates every single day. I don't have updates for you every single day, folks. I don't. I just don't. Uh, I'm hoping there will be positive updates soon, but I got nothing right now. Nothing. Fair enough. All right. Anything else to talk about? Well, um, not really. Not in particular. Um, I'm just looking forward to tons of gameplay. I hope you guys will join me in the next few days because there's going to be tons of gameplay. Like I said, certain days like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, there's going to be extended streams because I'm trying to get as much footage uh, ready for my time off as humanly possible. And I'm going to be playing a lot of stuff. So I hope that you will be attending the streams and, you know, enjoying them and participating in everything. All right. Um, so, ladies and gents, I already talked about Patreon. I'm not going to do that again. I just want to give a shout out to my Teespring store, which you've been seeing an ad playing on the pre-stream the entire time. You can get cool t-shirts. Right now, you know, it's autumn in a lot of places. And it's cooling down. You can get sweatshirts and hoodies. I'm just saying. They're available there. Many different fun designs that were all fan created. Um, mugs, all kinds of stuff. I personally own three different shirts and a mug from Teespring. And they're, they're all great quality stuff. So, please give it a look. If you do decide to buy something, I get a pretty decent commission from every sale on Teespring. And it helps me out directly. So, thank you to those who have bought some Teespring swag in the past. Alright. <clears throat> um, okay. Now, let's talk about the stream. If you are here watching the stream live today, everybody. You have the potential. You could either cheer, you can sub, or you can tip. Now, first of all, if you sub to the channel and you've never been a sub of my channel before, if you're a brand new subscriber, through the 2nd of October, so there's like four days left to do this, half-price subs. 
And no, I don't mean you go to Subway and you get like a, you know, a $5 foot long. I'm talking here on Twitch, half price subscriptions for anyone who has not been a subscriber of mine previously. Um, and that's any level, the $5, $10, or $15, or $25, excuse me, level. You get it for half price, all right? Just something to throw out there. Now, if you either cheer, sub, or tip during the stream, I'll be giving you a shout out. Keep in mind today I am doing, you know, uh, uh, fighting games, which means I cannot during a match give you a shout out, but once the match is over, I will then give you a shout out, okay? Um, <clears throat> In addition, if you cheer 50 bits or more, if you subscribe to my channel and click the share button after you do, or if you tip me $2 or more, you will get an on-screen pop-up notification, all right? And that notification will be giving you a visual thank you recognition in, a court, you know, in addition to the verbal that you're going to receive. So it's double recognition for you, basically, okay? Um, so that being said, I'm very appreciative of everyone who does uh, participate in that manner during my streams. Thank you to everyone. It's been a great couple of months, honestly. I hope we can keep up this momentum with all the new releases and everything coming out. We can keep this up. You know, it'll help me tremendously, okay? I'm very appreciative of all of your support. Um, that being said, if you are going to do any of said things today during today's stream, and maybe you have the choice between doing what you want to do. For example, maybe you're like, man, I'd either like to cheer, sub, or tip, and I'm not sure what helps fill the most right now. Quite honestly, right now, the best thing to do would be to tip me. Because right now, financially, things are tight, and they're going to be until mid-October when I get paid for my really good performance back in August. But there's a two-month stagger between when I get paid. So right now, things are really tight. But if you guys can help me out with tips, I get that money right now. I can put it right into my bank account, okay? And boom, I can help pay all my bills until I get those nice big royalty payments uh, in October for everything that I did in August, okay? Now, I'm not looking to give towards in the mouth. If you guys want to cheer or sub, that helps me too. And that's stuff I'm going to see in November. So I'm still greatly uh, appreciative of that, all right? <laughs> But just throwing it out there that if you really did have the choice between doing stuff and you're wondering what helps fill the most right now, the honest answer would be tips. Okay? All right, and that being said, um, let's go ahead and give a few shout-outs. There's been almost no activity on the pre-stream today, so I don't have much to do. But I will say this. Thank you once again to Golden Colts, who did a tremendous amount of cheering. I think he did about 800 bits of cheering overnight, as well as Game Master 2003 is dead, who did some cheering overnight. <clears throat> Both of these guys have been showing up overnight, I guess, because they can't attend the regular streams all the time. And they've been cheering, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much for your support. Also, shout out to Gamer Unlimited TV, who subscribed overnight at 2.23 a.m. Wow. 2.23 a.m. Someone was, was bored. <laughs> and came to my channel and subscribed. I appreciate that. Also, shout out to Monique, who cheered 99 bits earlier today before I started my stream. And then as soon as I started the stream, or nights... Did a 10-bit cheer and said, my dimey bit for the day. Enjoy the stream. I will be back later. So he took off. Well, maybe he'll be back in time for the end of the stream. We'll see. Shout out to the troll tip who gave me $2, which I'm not reading. <laughs> Shout out to ShadySands89, who subscribed to the channel for the seventh month in a row. He says, hey, Phil, I hope things are well. And you sorted that big issue out. Um, No, I did not. And sadly, this is, an, uh, this is an issue. Let me put it this way, folks. This is not an issue that can be easily sorted out. I wish it was. I wish it was like, oh. It could be good or bad, and then we get a definitive answer if it's good or bad, and it's over. It's not. This is something that's going to linger. This is something that's going to be a pain in the fucking ass moving forward. This is something that potentially could force me to leave this home and have to do a lot of changes in my life. Um, at the same time, maybe it won't be that bad. I don't know. All right? I will have more details for you when they're available. Right now, I can't give you any more because I don't have them. I've had no updates all week. Okay. Shout out to 47766, who did a 10-bit cheer, and said, Rest in peace. Pe re boy, bleh. Bleh. Marbles in my mouth. Try that again. Rest in peace to Hugh Hefner. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of on the... Uh, for me... Yeah, first of all, rest in peace to anyone who passes away. I mean, okay? But, Hugh Hefner, I mean... Let's be honest here. <laughs> what did he do? He was an editor of a porno mag who turned it into a giant empire based on girls' titties. <clears throat> mostly fake. And, uh, you know, for those who are hedonistic, I guess he's kind of like an idol... Like, oh my god, if, if any of us could could live like Hugh Hefner, that's the life or whatever. For me, it's kind of like, eh. I'm, am I really jealous of the guy? Not really. Like, for me, that's like, is it a crazy-ass lifestyle? Sure, but, you know, you look at someone's life, you're like, what did this guy really do? I'm sure the girls who he paid ridiculous amounts of money to, you know, do this kind of nudie shit probably love the guy, but, um, I don't know. For me, I never read Playboy. I, I, I actually, I, I, when I was in college, I think I had a subscription to it because I got it for free somehow. If I remember correctly, I'm trying to remember, because I did have a subscription to it at one point, but I know I didn't pay, like, full price. I think I got it for, like, five bucks or something, and I hated it. I thought it was stupid. <laughs> um, I thought it was, like, really dumb, the magazine. I didn't like it. I mean, yeah, the nudie pics or whatever, but then the internet happened, and it's like, what the fuck do I need this for? 
what's the internet having? Like, what am I buying a fucking Playboy for? What did, what would you want that for, you know? Um, so I don't know. You know, I don't know anything about Hugh Hefner. It'll be like, some people are right now on stream chat are like, well, I heard he did this good thing. If that's the truth, great. But for what he's known for, for me, that's not like a big thing, which is why I'm not going to be on stream. Oh, you know, Hugh Hefner, rest in peace. Let's do a giant s segment on it. Nah, and for me, it's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, shout out to the Lunatic Fringe who tipped me $3 and said, DSP, 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 DSP. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Lunatic Fringe, for the $3 tip. And I got another $3 tip from the BoJack Horseman, who, incidentally, I was watching BoJack Horseman last night. I might have finished season two, but I'm not sure. I don't know, because I got it on just autoplay on Netflix. So I just watched the episodes. I don't even know what season is what. It just keeps playing. Um, so BoJack says, love the streams, Phil. You provide everyone with awesome, amazing content. Keep up the amazing. Much love from Hollywood. A little inside joke there. Bojack Horseman. Uh, wow. Uh, Bojack Horseman. Inside joke. And then disgusting huge belch. Okay. Well, I think that's it for pre-stream, folks. I don't have anything else to talk about. I don't know about you guys. Um, I guess what I'll do here. That's nice. I, I'm in the middle of a sentence. I open my email. I get completely distracted. And then I'm like, oh, there's a stream going on. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> wow. Okay, anyway. Um, let's try this again. What I'm going to do is end the pre-stream. I'm going to go grab my can of bug spray. I'm going to zap this fucker that's in the corner of my office here. And then I am going to get ready to play you guys. All of you who are here, live on the stream, um, will have an opportunity to join my open lobby, okay, um, and play me. Now, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know how many viewers of mine actually own the game and are going to want to play me. So what I'm going to do is set up an open lobby, see if people can join or whatever, play people for a while. If it's going well and more people want to play, what I'll do is when I take my break, I'll close the lobby and then I'll open a second new lobby so that um, more people can play for the second half of the stream. If it's going slow and there's not a lot of people around to play, then after the first lobby closes, then maybe after break, I'll play more ranked matches, okay? So it'll all depend on how it goes. I don't know how many people will actually want to play me or not, okay? Fair enough? Sound good? And by the way, it's Taco Thursday at my local Mexican restaurant. They just texted me, Taco Thursday, come get discount tacos for $1.25 each. That's not bad for a restaurant taco, man. Anyway, I don't know why. <laughs> Some weird stuff on pre-streets. All right. So thank you, everyone, for being patient. Give me a moment here to run, grab my bug spray, and zap these, this bug, and then we will begin. Sound good? All right, I'll be back. Thank you, everybody. Give me a second. I'll be right back. 